hello guys um, today we're gonna be showing you how to apply a normal map to a base mesh in 3dx max actually why would you need a normal map uh, a normal map is a map you generated from your um, iOS sculpting package like um, ZBrush or 3dx max for reasons such as uh, you don't want to export high resolution mesh because you want to animate your model or to slow down your computer or something so what you need to do is you export you're gonna extract uh, the high high resolution details into a map then apply it later in 3ds map and what you extract is a normal map or it could be a uh, displacement map or a cavity map or whatever but in this situation we're gonna be using a normal map and to bring out the detail in this mesh because normally this mesh when you render it now looks very very flat looks very flat like just smooth and really the human face is not <laughs> I don't know maybe <laughs> you made from egg or something but actually let's add a diffuse map to give it more feel like look it make it look better okay nice okay 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 yeah here we go here is this uh, the map actually this model isn't mine it's shipped with 3dx max so I just took the liberty of using it for this demonstration okay so if I render this model at this point okay it's looking better but we're not getting the details because it looks very flat and like it was just born yesterday or something okay now what we're going to be doing is we're going to add the normal map that carries a high resolution detail of this model because in ZBrush you must have um, sculpted to like on uh, level 6 or something and you have all the details the wrinkles and stuff so now we're going to be adding that from the map generated from ZBrush or Modbox so I'll scroll down by default in 3dx mass your compact editor compact material editor looks like this like you just have your um, your map so when you scroll down you have something called maps this rollouts click to expand it then we'll come to bump okay I tried doing that so let me just clear this so for demonstration sake okay so I switch on my bump I just click the non button so instead of going to bitmap as usual I just scroll to normal map then this normal map is what actually carries the high resolution details so I just click on the normals and go to bitmap at this time and look for my normal map that I extracted from the ZBrush and Modbox so here it goes this is it so I just open and now I have it there doesn't show at this one but I have it there so I go back let me okay now we can see our normal map in the viewport so I go back and set this to 10 I like setting it to 10 I don't know what number might work for you but I love 10 so now if I render my character wow you can see immediately we get all our details on the character you can see the um the wrinkle on his face um the the shadow casting over here you can see the detail around his um the neck that's the stenomostoid muscle <coughs> you can see his chin yes you can see a lot of detail on his face so that's what a normal map does to your model gives it life and makes it look more um realistic yeah so at this point you can make him um, shiny or just add specularity to him a little bit so you can see kind of some specularity at this point okay so that's how it goes guys um, don't forget to comment and subscribe because um, after this video I'm gonna be doing a video on transparency maps and other types of maps you can use to give bring your characters to life in 3dx max